Hey, what's up guys and gals, Sanitary 103, always encouraging clean eating and clean and healthy lifestyle. So each and every one of you probably knows the dangers of smoking. You've seen it through advertising, in the media, on commercials, magazines, and this whole anti-smoking campaign has definitely been more successful because less people are smoking. But if you are in that small minority and you don't know some of the dangers of smoking, it increases the chances of getting lung cancer, emphysema, it makes you age and look more older than you appear, which most people do not want. Most people don't like to smell like an ashtray nor have really uh, yellow, yellow teeth. But this video isn't to inform you guys and gals about the dangers of smoking because like I mentioned, those are some of the uh, repercussions that can occur if you get smoking. And there's so much information out there, nor is this video to condemn the smokers because I personally don't care what other people do. As long as it doesn't affect me personally, or it doesn't affect other people in general, I, I personally don't care what people do. However, and that's why I wanna do this video, if you're a smoker and you're not conscientious and or sensitive towards uh, other people's uh, health, that can be a problem. Now, I work in a hospital and I see all sorts of things. I'm not gonna go into too much into detail, but one thing that kind of bothers me, well, it really does bother me, is that I see a lot of people smoking at my hospital where I work. I'm not talking about standing away from the crowd and trying to be I mean there are some smokers that I see them and they they're kind of like in the corner you could tell those people are more conscientious of trying to not smoke around other uh, people that are sick because you go going to a hospital for goodness sake those people I don't really care but it's that person who is smoking literally like outside of the door when there's patients coming by carrying O2 for oxygen and you're smoking right in front and all that secondhand smoke is hitting everyone. Now I understand you're addicted to smoking but there's a time and place for everything. If, if need be, just go to your car in the parking lot and at least smoke. Don't do it right in front of the entrance sign. And before some of you smokers might say, well you don't know how it is to be uh, addicted to stuff. Well actually no, um, that's not true. I actually used to smoke for about seven years and I was always sensitive towards other people's needs, especially if people didn't really want me to smoke. If I was around non-smokers, I actually wouldn't smoke around them. So like I said, I'm not trying to look down upon smokers and or tell you guys and gals how to live your life. But if you are a smoker and you're at a hospital, it just doesn't seem right. It, it really, really doesn't, okay? People are there, they're already sick, okay? Some of these people, I work in the cancer center, these people have cancer. And to me, it's kind of like a slap to their face. These people are would do anything to you know, get rid of their cancer, be healthy. But like I said, I'm not trying to tell you guys how to live your life. But if you are going to smoke, just wait till, just get in the car and just drive off a few minutes and do it away from the hospital. That, that's all I ask for. Alrighty, that's my time for this video. Comments or questions are always welcome. If you have any uh, crazy experiences with smokers, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.